free science lessons, exchange services. Organisms exchange substances with the environment. Cells can use diffusion to take in substances they need and get rid of waste products. For example, oxygen and carbon dioxide are transferred between cells and the environment during gas exchange. In humans, urea diffuses from cells into the blood plasma for removal from the body by the kidneys. However, how easy it is for an organism to exchange substances with its environment depends on the organism's surface area to volume ratio. You can compare surface area to volume ratios. A ratio shows how big one value is compared to another. The larger an organism is, the smaller its surface area is compared to its volume. You can show this by calculating surface area to volume ratios. A hipper can be represented by a block. The area of a surface is found by the following equation. So the hipper's total surface area is 64 cm squared. The volume of a block is found by the following equation. So the hippo's volume is 32 cm cubed. The surface area to volume ratio of the hippo can be written as 64 to 32. To simplify the ratio, divide both sides of the ratio by the volume. So the surface area to volume ratio of the hippo is 2 to 1. A mouse can be represented by a block. Its surface area is 6 cm squared and its volume is 1 cm cubed. So the surface area to volume ratio of the mouse is 6 to 1. The cube mouse's surface area is 6 times its volume, but the cube hippo's surface area is only twice its volume. So the mouse has a larger surface area compared to its volume. Multicellular organisms need exchange surfaces. In single-celled organisms, gases and dissolved substances can diffuse directly into the cell across the cell membrane. It is because they have a large surface area compared to their volume, so enough substances can be exchanged across the membrane to supply the volume of the cell. Multicellular organisms have a smaller surface area compared to the volume. Not enough substances can diffuse from the outside surface to supply the entire volume. This means they need some sort of exchange surface for efficient diffusion. The exchange surface structures have to allow enough of the necessary substances to pass through. Exchange surfaces are adapted to maximize effectiveness. Here I've provided some points. Exchange surfaces are adapted to maximize effectiveness. Here I've provided some points. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like and share.